Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Bando, and this is the first time uh, post-Christmas video, I believe. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Um, I hope you got lots of, uh, lots of models, lots of toys, I hope you saw, you know, lots of good time with your family. Um, and I hope you're ready to get into it for the new year. You know, no more pile of shame, that sort of thing. And, um, yeah, I hope we're going to have a really good 2024. So, I wanted to do a quick review on this. It's a, it's a pen bander. No, it's not. Uh, so, this is the present I got from my father. And it is called a wow stick. You might just be able to see that. And as it says, it's a pen drill. Now, many of you will be familiar with pin vice drills like this. These have been a hobby staple for a long time. And it's how we drill barrels, tiny holes, holes for um, pinning, that sort of thing. And they work pretty simple. The back end spins freely, so you brace it against your hand, and you just drill. Brilliant. They're pretty slow. They can be a little bit of a pain to get precise holes, and they take different size drill bits in the front here. Um, absolutely nothing wrong with one of these. They're relatively cheap, you can find them at most model shows, and there's lots of different size drill bits for them. But we live in the 21st century where everything must have a lithium battery. And the wow stick basically just makes things a little easier by being electric. Now, this is not a product you need. I will, I will just start by saying that. You don't need the wow stick, okay? This is one of those things that's just a... Uh, it's a nice addition. It's not going to do anything magic. It's not going to turn you into Mike McVeigh or Sam Lanes or Ninjon overnight. Um, but it's definitely one of those quality of life tools. And one of the things it can do really, really well is it can drill out bolter barrels. Now, you can do this with a regular drill bit, but the problem is you've got to get it straight, you've then got to make sure you're staying straight while you keep turning, and it can take a while of turning, 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 turning to, to get through it. Whereas, I will show you, This is quite literally just find the middle of where you want to drill, make sure it's in focus, and just, it's done. You know, without to go all the way through it, I don't mind that's off center at all because I'm going to be going through with a bigger drill bit in a minute. But, um, you know, bolt barrels, find the center. didn't find the center at all on that one really screwed that up but that's it done there we go that looks a bit better so yeah um it is usb-c rechargeable and comes with a usb-c cable it comes with Eight bits, which just unscrew the front. Don't lose the brass bit, which holds the the drill bits in place. Pop that in there. Now here's the, here's the bit that I didn't get to start with. I've just finger tightened that now, right? And now if I turn, the whole drill turns, so it doesn't get any tighter. The problem there is, this is still loose, and I didn't notice this for the first couple of times I was using it, so I was a little disappointed and thought, oh, this is a really bad product, because that keeps falling out, and it's not very secure. You do just need to pinch the end of the drill, just to give it that little, like, it's it's literally like two or three of these, like, uh, ridges worth of tightening to hold it in place. It comes with a cap, so you can put it over there so you don't damage 
your drill bits if you're going to keep using it. However, it's very loose, so don't think it's a pen that you can hang this off your pocket and it's going to stay in there. That's just to uh, put it on so when you put it away. It comes with a plastic case. Okay. And it comes with a bunch of drill bits. Brilliant. That's also a really nice box for putting brushes in. However, again, the lid is just held in place by gravity, very little friction, it won't stay in place. So, the wow stick. You can get these off Amazon for about £55. Um, if you're a beginner hobbyist, I would probably say don't get it. If you are a medium or advanced-ish hobbyist, I would say it's a good thing. Um, especially if you're doing a lot of work with marines. If you're drilling your bolter barrels, you want to do a lot of um, damage. You know, if you want to do, you know, bullet holes, for example. Real simple, just... And you've got a hole. And it's just a quality of life. It's just a, a speeding things up tool. That's all it is. It's not no different to this drill. It's just faster. And there's still times I'm probably going to use this over this. Like if I'm going through something hard, like if I'm doing a metal model, I'll probably keep using this one. Um, now, according to the website, it's got a heat-treated motor, so it apparently can go for a long time without any sort of thermal buildup, which is nice. And the build quality is, it feels nice. It feels like it's a really high quality piece, apart from the fact that this is so loose. That's the only bit that really bugs me. But the feel of it in the hand is very nice. However, just because of my short, weird fingers and odd-shaped hands, um, I do find it sometimes a little hard to use it like a pen when I'm drilling. You know, if I'm just like this, it's a little difficult sometimes. And also, every now and then, I will clip the bottom of the drill with my finger or something. So that's just going to be a learning to use a new tool kind of problem. Um, is it worth the £55? Possibly. It saves time. Um... I'm very happy I got it. I was going to get one myself anyway. Um, it's if, you, if 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 drilling barrels on bolters is something you care about, but it's something you dread doing. Um, it's a brilliant investment. It's probably what you would pay for a good set of brushes nowadays. Um, and it's the price of well, you know, a tank really, a tank kit, isn't it? So. Yeah, I, I think it's a good investment for a, you know, your hobby budget for a month or so. It's definitely kind of worth it. But if you're a new hobbyist or if you're struggling for money, um, I wouldn't. That's my honest review of this. I will probably come back to this after I've used it for a little bit more. I've only done maybe a dozen models, uh, bolters with this so far. Uh, and it certainly has made it easier, but... Um, I'm far from an expert in this at the moment. Very happy I've got it. Going to keep using it. Going to keep trying it out for a lot of things. I'm thinking it's going to make working with those Zinge Industry rivets a lot easier. Uh, it's going to make pinning models to bases a lot easier. If that's the sort of thing, you know, if you're going to drill through stuff like this, it's probably going to go through it really quickly. Um... The only thing I had trouble with it was going through a skull. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I went through just a normal skull, like I was doing for my Night Lord trophy video. Um, but I think the reason I was having trouble was because it wasn't quite tightened down 100% at that point. So I'm sure if I do it again, it's going to be a lot easier. Make sure you've tightened it down. Uh, don't use lose your drill bits. Um, I haven't even charged it. I'm still using whatever charge it had when it arrived. So I can't even comment on the battery life yet. Um, 
but I'm very happy so far. So yeah, tr check it out if if it's something that interests you. If if you know you want to start drilling your bolters, if you want to start doing things, um, you know, taking your models to the next level ish. Okay, guys. Um, that's all I wanted to say. I didn't want to waffle too much and repeat myself. I know some people really hate that in videos. You know, stop talking, tell me the points, stop trying to get the video to the monetization level. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, I hope everyone got everything they wanted for Christmas. Um, shout out to my sister who got me a Sikoran battle tank. Um, I'll be building that on stream probably at some point next week. Um, and I have decided that in the new year, the schedule for um, live streams is going to be one at the beginning of the week, one at the end of the week, most likely probably Mondays and Thursdays. Um, guys, if you haven't already, please uh, check out the community tab for a link to the Discord. Come join us there. Share us your you know, modeling work. Come join us and show us your, your work in progress so we can all help each other. Um, and annoy Big Jez, because why not? Um, also, thank you very much for everyone who's used my Element Games code. Remember, you can always use that to double your reward points. Um, it's down in the description. It's JAM737, I think. Um, you get double reward points. You get enough reward points, you can cash them in for free stuff. Um, so it all works out if you're going to be ordering stuff. Plus, Element Games will get you 15 to 25 percent off of um, anything you order. They stock GW stuff, but they also stock things like Warlord Game stuff. They stock a Song of Ice and Fire, Drop Zone Commander, Infinity, paints, brushes, airbrushes, 3D printers. Go on, someone buy a 3D printer. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, they're based in the UK. They're one of my favourite retailers delivery times are always on point and they're always really friendly when I phone, speak to them on the phone other than that guys you can give me a follow on the old Instagrizzles um, link is in the description for that as well and if you're feeling really really um, flagellating uh, you can give me a follow on Rumble as well and join the five people who support me there um, thank you very much to everyone who has supported me 2023 has been a huge year for this channel um it has gone from nothing to everything for me. Um, and I really appreciate all of you. Everyone who turns up to the live streams. Everyone who watches these videos. Um, I know I'm a bit salty and negative from time to time. But um, I'm trying to give you guys my honest opinion on things. And from what I see, a lot of you seem to like that. So don't be afraid to tell me when I'm wrong in the comments, guys. I appreciate those as much as the guys who, you know tell me how much they love me and uh, you know I see you hyperlethality um, <clears throat> let me know when I'm doing things wrong let me know when I'm wrong let me know when I'm right uh, don't be afraid to you know contradict me in the comments guys that's how we learn that's how we grow thank you very much for coming along guys have a great new year Merry Christmas and uh, yeah happy new year bye bye